What's going on guys? Direct here. I'm in Australia, all right, the other side of the world. And I'm here today, um, Muscle Factory Gym with Talia. Hey guys. Hey, Talia. Uh, she's an athlete here, so talk, look, tell them you know, who, they, who you are and what you do and where you train and all that. So I've been training seriously for the last six months and I'm um, competing my first bikini competition in September. Bikini? Yeah, that's awesome, right? Uh, there's a lot of great athletes here and I've noticed she was training hard and uh, she was doing a lot of different exercises which is great. Uh, so basically I'm going to ask you today, uh, what are your three favorite types of exercise and why? So favorite uh, for legs is hip thrust, really feel it in your glutes. Um, also like isolated uh, lateral raises as well, shoulders is my favorite day. Um, and seated rows as well for back, makes me feel really strong. So that's all great but I think um, I want to see you do them because I don't know what you're talking about. So, I don't know what you guys, but, uh, so let's get to work. All right, so I will be performing a hip thrust. No, I'm not. All right, Talia here will, and she'll show you exactly what she does when she do hip thrust. Okay, you got this cool machine here that I've actually never seen before. Uh, so yeah, go ahead. Notice how it's important to get that full contraction right on top. Okay, pull, squeeze, inhale, and get that full stretch. Up contraction, okay. And she likes to hold the one second under tension when she does it because you really feel like your glutes on fire. You get the maximum stretch out of it. But when I do it, <laughs> I don't do it. Good. So you can actually build up your weight, uh, do a little five ten pounds every set to really finish up with a strong set to six to eight repetitions to get the maximum contraction. Okay, always feel uh, the glutes, even if it's the kind of exercise that's finesse. Okay, you can add some weight and really focus on getting hypertrophy and growth. Okay, so adding weight is always a good option. If ever it does hurt in the front part, okay, you put a little mat on there. And uh, I've never seen this monstrous dinosaur machine, but uh, it's actually working out really well. Uh, if you don't have that, you can actually use a little bench and just lying your back on the bench or different options. That's a good machine or else well. But uh, if not, we'll come to Australia and train here with Talia and uh, do the hips. Side lateral, okay? Talia is going to perform the movement. Okay, like I said, mentioned in my tips, small finger always. So she's going to rotate her hand a little elsewhere like this, right? Bend over the elbow and get a full contraction for the side of the glove right here. That's an explosive movement knock off. Up, squeeze, and now full stretch. Up, there we go. So you actually see the side delt part right here in the triangle and not the front part because her hands are trying to look like that. So you want to get that full momentum up, explode up, attraction, resist the movement up. Explode up, especially towards the last repetition where it gets hard. You actually need to explode and get those last ones. That's right. And she told me she was going to go to 100 reps, so she's got 91 left, so we're just going to look through the reps and just cheer for her, all right? Like this up, excellent. All right, big rows, okay? First things first, chest up, shoulders back, bring the scapula back, get a full extension down, okay? You don't want to actually bend forward completely to get that full stretch, why? Uh, just to prevent injuries, okay? You do have, you do get the maximum stretch, a little bit more stretch out of it, but like I said, I know a lot of doctors and stuff, my friend, and they say really a long-term effect, it's not a good thing. So focus on getting straight, getting the full stretch down, okay? And getting that full contraction. So once you come through the back right here, you can see a little bit of back, Stretch, up, chest up, squeeze right there. There we go. Okay, one thing when the elbow brings the movement down, okay? So why don't you come back on the side here? I'm gonna show you this. The hand needs to be straight up towards the shoulder, okay? So I want you to put your hands a little bit lower towards the elbow right here. There we go. And then squeeze. Right there. If your hands are too high, your forearm is going to be stimulated and you're going to get the pressure off. So if you actually your forearm gets tension, it's not a good thing. Just lower down your weight, lower down the grip, and pull towards your belly button to get the maximum squeeze. Okay? And she does a good work because she does actually one second under tension. Okay, but the last two, three repetitions, you won't be able to do that. You won't get that maximum contraction, get the full range, and get that squeeze to get that last repetition. Alright? Good job, Dad.